So one of the things I was reading about this film that uh, has really been bouncing around in my head, I have a four and a half year old daughter now, um, is this idea that the director talks about that our kids don't belong to us, we belong to them. Mm -hmm. And I thought, that, I mean, it's really like a Peter brain teaser. Just <laughs> pours wisdom into this movie. You can't walk out of it without feeling like, hey, wait a minute. Yeah. yeah. Um, was it those sort of themes that really attracted you to, to this in the beginning? Well, even if it, even if it, it hadn't been so full of um, Peter's wisdom that I really do feel like I learned from and that I'm happy to be part of putting out in the world, it, um, his, just his writing was so good. His writing is so good, it's so fun, it is so emotional, but um, it never goes off the deep end <laughs> right. into just pure, you know, um, what's the word, sentimentalism. Mm -hmm. and, as a, and as a big music fan, as soon as I saw Ahmet Zappa in the credits at the beginning, I was like, what? Well, yeah, it was, he came up with the story. Originally. Did you get to talk with him much? Yeah, he was the producing the movie, he was there all the time. Oh, awesome. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. So, I mean, all this sort of fanciful supernatural elements, I imagine, that had to be his side, right? Kid coming up out of the garden. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was all, that was him. And then Peter made sure that everything was super grounded. I mean, yeah. he wrote it, so yeah. he made sure that everything was grounded. He made sure that um, he kind of imbued the story with a lot of what's happening in the world right now. There's a mm -hmm. drought. There, there's a recession. There's people getting laid there off. People from getting the laid off. The fact, yeah. you know, uh, the the jobs are leaving this small town and we it's literally see main street at the beginning of the we movie see main street yeah. and it's kind of getting destroyed and um i i love that peter added all of this this stuff and he he had so many themes he had so much he wanted to say yeah the, the movie's kind of really rich with and the casting is so i mean i love seeing ron livingston as the guy laying people off isn't he great and <laughs> yeah. then his wife rosemary dewitt mm -hmm. she's so good she's just always yeah. so good and both you and joel have this ability to shift from dramatic to comedic, which is great. Joel Edgerton is about to be, you know, everyone's favorite actor. He's incredibly endearing. He's Warrior lovely. Warrior was in my top five last right. year. Right, yeah. yeah. Wasn't five, it so ten. good? So good. So, and he's the heart of that movie, and, mm -hmm. and he is of this as well. And, and he was on set. He, you know, he's not a dad, but you wouldn't know it to see him with CJ. Wow, yeah. And, and that's the thing, too. Like, Warrior, even though it's about MMA and whatever, mm -hmm. it's not really about that mm -hmm. at all. And it's like this film, even though it it's about this magical supernatural thing. It's not just magic. It's about real life. Right. It, it, it kind of, you know, there's often something that helps you get underneath. It sneaks you into something that's really real and will hit you really hard. And in this case, it's family, love of family, the different ways that family can look. And it's definitely, you know, parenting. Although the kids that I've seen it with think it's for them. Don't see any of that and just think, oh, this is a movie for little kids.